All right, welcome to today's stream. Wait, let me, let me close everything down. Sorry about that. There you go. Don't want to have too many incriminating elements on record, right? No, I'm just kidding. I don't have any incriminating stuff. Who do I? Uh, let's see. Okay, this is good stuff. Though. This is good stuff. Anyway, that's not what we're working on. We are working on package packages. LC. So I finally got accepted to uh, the hackage uploaders. So I can do Cabal Gen Bounds. Um, I got an email saying, "Hey, you know, make sure, make sure you have bounds, right?" And I'm like, "Okay, gotta have them bounds," and and they do already, right? In this package, so. Uh, modern URI. Let's just make sure that, you know, I actually need all of these, right? Um, let's see. Uh, text URI, yeah, that's modern URI. I am using, um, am I using containers? How am I using containers? I don't think I am, right? Let's see. You know, we don't want to depend on containers if we're not using containers, right? That's a good point, Golson, but uh but like you see, see, it, it, it built, right? And I removed containers. So uh, that's something. Text. Yeah, we're using data.txt, right? And we're using modern URI. That's this text.uri thing. And I think there's like, there's a warning for unused imports, but not unused packages. And yeah, we're using the make URI because yeah, I remember that was the, that was a whole thing, right? We were trying to connect to something and it just like didn't didn't do the thing. Um, now, I actually want to check because we, we added this Amazon Trace ID, right? Oh, okay, we have that. Uh, Cobalt build. How do you, how do you pass it to GZ? Um, GC options, I guess.
Add it to the Cabal file. Oh, dear. Add some game. See options, right? Unrecognized warning flag. Oh, but it's building with GHC 8.83. Yeah, we don't have that flag, right? Because like the Alpine GHC thing that we're using is 8.83. But yeah, we've manually gone over the packages and we're definitely, definitely using all the other ones, so it's fine. Yeah, that's how it is, you know? Always, always gotta wait a bit. Um, let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Let's kind of like this. Let's get a save. Remove King Fingers. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do now is I want to do the, the build here. And then I want to... Yeah, deploy. Okay, so I want to do sudo docker build ERP. So, because I want to check. Before we put it up, I want to check if it... Um, I want to see if we can make it... Uh, <laughs> I want to see if it like does the Amazon, the the X trace thing, right? Oh yeah, and like I think I think this looks okay. Like these are all internal functions; they don't really need documentations. You know, we're exporting the error. We have like pretty good explanation of what everything in this object is. We have an interface that has this encapsulated initial state. I think that's good. And then, I mean, this part here is pretty easy, right? You know, we have, we require that the runtime API is in there, right? If it's not, it's gonna call error, but that's okay. You know, we, because if we don't have this, this one, we can't do anything. Then we create the URI. Uh, so then this, this will always work, right? I mean, like, AWS is not going to put an invalid URL in the in the okay. so these just here they are a bit risky, but like there's no there's no good kind of thing to default to otherwise, right? We initialize. If that worked, then we either loop or didn't work. We call the initialization error, which is which is a function that does you know I like all of these just they're just so simple right they're just saying just do the thing so I mean so we crafted this like the main specific language and it's all so simple like this package doesn't really do that much like, it just kind of but it does it does the things it does in the right way which is just wait one why is this so what's wrong here Okay. 
Yeah, we have ping. My internet is not this slow. It's supposed to be very fast at this point. I mean, I'm, I'm streaming like four megabytes up. You know? Uh, this is some Git, GitHub thing being weird. Okay. Let's wait for it to finish. Let's see how the, my promotion worked. Discard post. Hold on. All right. Um, but I already have the gen bounce. So let me go to hackage. Um, right. And I had, I had my hackage password already saved, but I don't want to show y'all, so. Oh. Hold on, let me, let me turn off the password camera before I enter this, but this is an important password. Uh, I like this. Uh, yeah. That was close. Damn. Factor authentication and all that stuff. <sighs> Upload. So now I want to. Uh, I want to run. Um, like, what is going on here? Like, this is. Like, why is this connection so slow? Why? Well, yeah, yeah, this is not okay. Yeah. I mean, this is not... There's nothing going on here. Let's check. Okay, I'm definitely not connected to the 5G. I'm connected to the 2.4G. Or maybe I am. I don't know. But like, I shouldn't have issues downloading an, an 8 megabyte file, right? Like, come on. <laughs> anyway, I think it's not my fault. Oops. I got dropping from yeah I mean I don't know yeah I think that happened at the during the speed test that might be I mean it was to, trying to download as fast as possible right yeah I've got like 600 drop frames now but it wasn't yeah that makes sense right during a speed test to drop a bunch of frames This is uh, unbelievable. Why would it be so slow? Like what, what, what could possibly be going on? That's what I don't... I'm not catching here. 
Não sei. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna upload it to like the test thing. See what happens. Where was it? It was here, right? Yeah. We tried this last time, but we got like forbidden. And I think that's because I'm not an, an uploader. Yeah, nice. Okay, I mean, this doesn't look too bad, right? Except, I, I definitely want... I definitely want to... Uh, I want to want my name to be there properly written. That's the latest one. Yeah, nice. So what are people doing? Are people doing it like this? Let me see. Oh my god. What's this? What's, what's this name? Holes. Oh, it's just a he's a cool guy. Uh, Casey as Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, I mean maintainer. Yeah, and I just have. Oh, okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, people just have their emails. Seems that seems to be the way to go. So. The license file is correct. Oh, this is not the... There. Maintainer is correct. Category, yeah. Home page. Yes. Uh, let me change this tag. Let's push the... I can like I need to I think I need to delete this thing. Uh, no, wait. Tag. 
go to this tag edit release oh yeah okay b0111 and oh that's a good point because you know when i do when i run cabal cabal haddock yeah i think it i think it takes time I think they run this command, the Cabal had a command, and I'm I'm not sure they do it. I'm not sure they run it for candidate packages, right? But uh, you know, this is what we were looking at earlier. Um. Alright, here's the package, right? And it says like, this is clickable, right? IO, I'm doing vacation. It did complain that too, Jason is not. Yeah, but this was what it's what is working. So Yeah, I'm I so I think they should work, right? I think everything should be working. And I have the gen bounce. Um, I mean, yeah, I think this looks like a good package, right? Mm, let me see. Uh, upload. Let's just read this through, right? Yeah, so strive to provide value for the community by intending to be useful for others, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's correct. A. Uh, Curate it, yeah. We can change them. Sember compatible. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Tanky trustees need to be able to contact maintainers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could not trust contact. I got the MIT license. Um. Okay. Religious using a password. Mm -hmm. Okay, you should check that your source bundle builds, including the Haku documentation, if it's a library. Hey. Uh, Categories are determined by whatever you put in the category field. Here we had we had uh, AWS. Uh, occasional changes to the GC pack, base package. Yeah. Okay. So I think you know the try it it, it but it builds the documentation itself, but this can't fail. So let's just so I'm not I'm just I'm not worried that the that documentation won't be built. I'm I'm just pretty sure that that it will be built eventually. Okay. Package Haskell functions for easy use on AWS Lambda. And then I like, you know, I say some simple description and like I link to the relevant page, right? So people can can know what to do and uh, yeah. And there's like a Docker file bundled with it, right? So people can show, see how to do it. Uh, okay, is this done? Finish, is this done with downloading that eight megabyte file? Yeah, sweet. Okay, so now we tag it. Damn it. Uh, 
and then we push it. Okay, so I have to re-log into ECR, I guess. Give it the code. Let's turn off the password thing again. It's turned yet. Okay, let me go. Um. Oh no. Right, we're almost there. Yeah, here we go. Where's the ECR? We gotta log into it again. Push it, and then. Uh, um. Okay, and can I push it now? Nice. So this is fast. But downloading that 8 megabyte file, that was super slow. Damage. Okay. Now let's check it out. Um, here, let's go to... Mamnet. We're doing we're changing LARP. Um and it should be it should it was running like test or like saying test or success right now it says LARP lib or something like that. Uh image. I have to deploy a new image. And oh yeah, is this gonna crash? No, yeah, this is gonna crash, right? Are you right? Yes, that's what it does. Chrome beta, yeah, because we're running the beta, right? And it crashes on Chrome beta. That's not good. Um, so let's go to the ECR again. Um. And then we just need this image here. Um, copy the image you are right. Oh. Uh, so it says at and then this sha. Uh, save it. Okay, now test. Uh, invoke. Okay, and it says LARP. 
I think it's supposed to say that. No, wait. What does it do again? What is it supposed to do? Test. Um, main. It's supposed to say LARPY lib. If this was the latest version indeed. So. Let's test again. That says LARPY lib. And it says trace ID. And it says sample true on the x-ray trace. Uh, so let's see. I think that's cool. It says no traces. Try clearing the selected node. And let me see. Okay, so I'm just gonna invoke it right from here. Actually, it was here. I was invoking it. I think. No. Yeah. Here we go. Try it a couple of times. Let me look at the monitor. Is it parsed yet? No, I don't think they do it for, for these packages. Okay, here we go. This was now. Yeah. X-ray trace ID. Sample true. Okay, let's check out. Uh, this is weird, right? Um, There's five traces, they're all good. And they're all around 700 milliseconds. That's not, that's not good, but uh, yeah. Oh, no, oh, yeah. Usually they're about three milliseconds, but now they're, well, yeah, see, I mean, it's a, uh, it is pushing the traces in, right? And through the system. So, so the tracing is working okay. And the initial launch takes two seconds. And then it's like, yeah, three, three milliseconds, which is, you know, it's fine. For an online thing. Whew. Okay. Um, I mean, you know, my ping is 60 milliseconds, right? So the fact that it's taking three milliseconds, I mean, nobody's going to complain about that. I, I hope. So I don't, that's not a lot of overhead is what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We covered all these things and I think this package is good. I... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna upload it. We link to everything that we need. We have we have the package that the dependencies are correct. These links are all good. Package description, yeah, looks good. 
Anything I'm waiting on here? No. Okay, I'm gonna publish it. Let's publish the library. Let's go. Uh, Cabal is this. No, wait. Uh, well, I was doing it here, right? No. Oh. Uh, what's another thing? Okay, and now let's upload the package. Well, let's do one thing first. Let's see if it builds from the source. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna say, you know, we're gonna copy this. And we're gonna copy it to something unzip it cobalt build build it from scratch and it compiles and builds so uh, we're good I think we're quite good all right, uploading my first package to Hackage. It's a bit funny, right? I Like, I'm a GNC contributor. So there's technically some code from me on Hackage, but you know, I don't have my own private hack package. So, this is the first, let's go, open. Upload package. Let's do it. Are you ready? Woo, woo. We did it. Amazing. Okay, now let's see if the docs build or if we let's give it a couple of give it a couple of minutes and see if it uh, if it if it does the documentation or if we have to run the run this command here. Set e make tip yeah so cabal. Yeah, that it should work, but it's there. It's cool. Now you can just go and hack it. Just check out the package. Um. Yeah. How long do you think we should wait for the tax build? I'm gonna give it. Yeah, at least I mean five six minutes, but you know it should. It should go quite soon. You do, but yeah, well, it's cool. You know, it's got it's got all these things. Yeah, you gotta give it three lambdas. It's a great. Okay, let's see. Hackage matrix box pending. It says. The matrix builder. You know the matrix is on. Uh... Oh, it's probably is it blocking it somehow? Okay, we we don't need privacy badger for for this page. Ah, the status symbol is still working. Anyway, packages. Okay, here's just nothing, which is not very convincing. Um, and 
and it doesn't seem to be doing things very fast honestly and I'm not even shown in the queue The docks are going to be built eventually, and it, and it's all going to work out. Now we got this package. Now you can do, yeah, you can just you know upload functions to AWS. You can run it. It's all packaged and nice. You just have to define your own handler, which I like. So you can finally just. Run Lambda, Haskell Lambdas on uh, on Lambda, which is like finally. So today we got uh, Lambdas in Excel, and now we have Lambdas on Lambda. A truly great day for Haskell, I think. Uh, mostly because of. Well, not because of this package, but you know, Excel has got lambdas now, so it's Turing complete, and that is nice. Let's delete. And like, look, and like, this is the image. It's packaged with everything, and it's 20 megabytes. And that's like one of the goals, right? To to make it actually. Do the thing. Let's delete these old images. Okay. Um. Yeah, now I'm wondering, like, what, we, what do we do next? Like, what's a good... Now I kind of want to play around with this package, right? And play around and, you know, make some... Like a web page or something that uses lambdas. It would be also cool to, you know, see if we can run... Like, Cognito contacts. Um, like, can we make a lambda function that... Uh, interacts with... Dynamo DB in a nice way or something like that. That would be interesting, right? Hmm. Let's see. Um I wanna see Is it Dynamo DB? Amazon Ka Dynamo DB, yeah. And we want to see if we can do this. Brandon Hay, okay, it's not good that he that they haven't they haven't updated this package since last year. That good. Okay, so it works, Jasper. What you're saying, it's good. Okay. Uh, that's my type from this library. Okay. Um, lenses. Uh, let's see. Okay. That's cool. Uh, what? Yeah, okay, um... Okay, Fate is... Doing some work here. I mean, this package... Is almost two years old now. I guess if it works, you know, the DynamoDB hasn't changed so much, so it should work. Okay, DynamoDB service... Um... List global tables. All of these things. We've got some lenses. Wow. Like I would ask, like, does anyone know of a package which uses Amazon Ka to do EWS things? Because so that's usually, you know, if you're running things on AWS, you're usually doing it for a business, right? And then you're not, you're not going to share that, right? 
Okay. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Box are pending. Oh, maybe this was just failing. Okay. It builds. I'm not gonna edit the package metadata. But uh, it's still building. Okay. Oh, nice. Sureg database CHS. Oh, yeah, okay, nice. It's like a. Nice. Oh, it's template has cool. Okay. Yeah. But we can probably... We can probably, like, skip all the lenses and things, right? Okay, we just do... do, 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 do. What is this HMS thing? Uh, Ash map strict. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because like this looks like optimized code, right? Like this is actual code that you run, which is nice. Um, let me let me just try this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna spend a lot of time building these things. So let's just get started on that, and let's just let's change our test here. Um, so what I'm wondering, you know, is like uh, Amazon, ca I guess, assumes that you're not assumes I mean so so lambda functions they have this usually like you can just just use a database right you can you can kind of use a role that that uh, yeah so that you can kind of give the lambda function access to it right uh, and it just works somehow and is that is that like an environment variable Yeah. Let's let's just check, right? Let's just not do this, right? Let's just let's just say here a uh, test. Okay, let's actually remove a uh, test and then do that. It does, yeah. Let's open test main, and the li handler is io. And we want to do import system dot environment and um, and uh, so this is supposed to return Jace something that has JSON. Yeah, yeah. But like what I'm saying, I you know, yeah. But but usually, like for the lambda function itself. You just like you give the lambda execution role that that lambda function has access to the dynamo db right with yeah with iam exactly uh but like i, I don't think amazonka amazonka i don't i'm not sure amazonka assumes i'm just wondering like can i can i log in as an iam user from uh, a lambda function directly right do, or do i have to do i have to somehow uh specify it let me see um so we have uh we have a uh, lookup and i'm just i just want a function that just gives me the environment and let's see uh lookup and get env 
No. Yeah, I want the entire environment. Get environment, right. And so, so here we just say n get n. Um, and the cool thing here is we can just literally return the n because uh, you know a list of string comma string that should have a JSON instance, right? By default. It's not in the show. Hmm. Okay. It works in Lambda. How do how like how do you run it in Lambda? It's like how do you how have you been running it in lambda my question get yeah oh, this is supposed to be get in Actually, here I want to say, yeah, environment. I want to say the init function is just um, going to be right. Get environment. Get envir environment. Environment. And then just do this. And then this is. I want this to be uh, just return the state. Hmm. Discover constructor. That is cool. From session, from n, from profile, from text. Okay, I am rules for task. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. That's probably this is probably like a DNS thing that they define on. Uh. Right. Because I'm just using a container, right? And that the container doesn't know anything about Amazon. So that's uh, that's interesting. Let me see. Um, let's just see what this does. This is too much. Uh, uh, Docker. Uh, yep. I want to build it and then push it. What happens if you run like a DNS request? 
for instance data, like HTTP instance data. Probably what does Amazon could does, right? Not in the queue even, and it still says eh, pending docs. Yeah, I'll give it a couple more minutes. So we're building the text. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm hoping, right? Cause like when I make the request, I, I set the environment variable and that is used as a trace ID, right? And I, I get the, I get something from, I get the, like the URL I'm supposed to query from an environment variable, right? So that's why I'm, what I'm hoping here, I, I don't know why the download rate is so slow. So what I'm hoping here is that on the lambda uh okay on the lambda function there is some sort of credentials or something in the uh in the json that we get or like yeah something like that let me actually i mean i think it would make sense to create a yeah, specific role. Let me see. Like otherwise, if it works and I run it, y'all are gonna get uh, access to that role, which won't be good. Uh, yeah, okay, it won't happen until I update it anyway, though. Let me see, configuration. Uh, permissions. Okay, Lord B. Okay, yeah. What role did I give this? Okay. It doesn't do uh, much so if you get the credentials for this you can uh, you can call my lambda functions and put traces that's not that's not administrative access right that's fine all right uh, okay I'm gonna take a quick break I'm while well, this is loading just get some water. I'll be back in like a minute or two. for tuning in i think this is good i think it's proper i don't know i would watch this it's like doing proper haskell programming we're publishing actual hackage packages right 
probably the only hackage package whose entire development has been broadcast live. But you know, you gotta, gotta show people how it's done, right? I'm gonna see, I'm gonna run this, check the environment. And just see what it does, and that's it. That's it for today. Sorry I started so late. I was out getting uh, takeout. Got some crazy good Indian food. Uh, some biryani. Uh, my daddy got a lamb sag. Yeah, well, Indian food. It was it's from this place called Gandhi Mahal, but I'm not sure what kind of biryani it was. But you know, it's definitely Punjabi sag, right? <sighs> but it was good. I mean, it, we're in Iceland, right? They just they say their chefs can cook for stuff from all four corners of India, but India doesn't really have four corners, right? Kind of like. Like, you know, is Trip is Tripura? Like, is Calcutta a corner? Or, like, is it in the Seven Sisters? Jammu, Kashmir, you know, is that a, is that a corner of India? I don't know. This, uh, this is a hot topic. But it definitely has more than four corners. Uh... Yeah, India is not a square country, right? So, I'm just saying. I guess that's one of the benefits of living in like Africa is that your, your country has a corner because <laughs> someone drew a line there. God damn it. Icelanders had no part in that. We were a Danish colony, you know? We were, we were the first victims of uh, European colonization. I mean, we got out, but yeah, it's a bit annoying when we are blamed from the crimes of the Danish. You know. Anyway, don't uh, don't uh... yeah. Read the book called Prisoners of Geography tells you all about how why certain countries look certain ways you know, like why is russia always invading poland like why, why is that important for russia like for the security of russia um you know why are the borders of germany and france the way they are i guess all because of geography i mean that's not the only solution right but a lot of it has to do with geography and that the, the problem in Africa is that, you know, those those lines they drew, they totally violate that principle, right? So, like, you... There's kind of no way you, you can't have conflict there, because there's just... Uh, the borders don't respect geography, so... Sad but true. Anyway, let's uh, have this run and uh, download it. This is the digest. That is convenient. Can we just take that immediately? I mean, we have to check, but uh, it would be cool if it was that. ECR. LRP. Digest? Yeah, that is a digest. Nice. Okay, so now we can actually just do your image. Point new image. See? Oh. Uh, 
I was too eager. That. No. That. This should work. Now, to test it, invoke. Still the old one? Oh, it's updating a function. Okay, when this is stopped loading, then it works. Okay, now let's query it. So no, this is not the right one. Query it. Let's give us the environment. Yes. Nice. Yeah, we have access key ID, secret access key. Yeah. Okay, so it would it would do that. It would just it will just read the. It will just read the uh we'll just read it from the environment which is cool okay uh all right let's actually let's uh update this to the previous sha so it's uh it's not accessible Again with the ads. Don't at me. Okay. Um, and let's see here. Now I need to go to IAM and uh, I actually need to uh, give this a new role. Oh my god, yeah. I can't do this way. Keep clicking those, you know, and it just never works. All right, password time. To authenticate, okay. Now let's change the role.
Can I like it? Let's see. So uh, this is the one we have, and this is EV4. Yeah, I'm the best execution roll. Land of trace, execution roll. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay, let's. The 63 said uh, but I want to attach this policy here to the yeah. okay have I now attached it is that what it means To click attach policy here. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, okay, this should be fine. Okay, so let's go back now. And let's change this to this rule. Okay. And. Uh, and it has access to everything. And I can run it, right? And it was traced and sampled. Okay. Then I can uh, delete the row here. All right, because you already saw the access key, right? So I don't want you to be having access. All right. Uh, yeah, so, okay. The library is up. And it did... Uh, it's up on Hackage. It works. You can do it, you can trace it, you can x-ray it. And, you know, what more do you need? I think it's pretty good. So, what? All reports that build fa planning failed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Talks not available. Okay, it's trying to compile with the. Uh, Because it's only tested with GHC 8.83, and I can't really test it with anything else. I can't do it. Okay, I mean that's, uh, that's too bad. It's not good enough. Hmm. Hey, can I? Uh, and just do this. No, no. Okay, let's fix this uh, next time around. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. It's not working now. You can test out the package. You can look it up.
and uh, i hope you enjoyed today catch you all uh, next week all right see you bye bye